Slide Lou here. But today I'm gonna to be doing a slash kinda of my first haul video-ish. And January favorite, some products that I liked to um, you know. I kinda of just wanted to make a, a video to show you guys the type of things that I've this would be this nail polish. It's actually a really awesome nail polish, the Joe kind of made, you know? I got it in Montreal when I went to my vacation, kind of like a chill thing when you gave. Yeah, so this nail polish actually brightened up. It kind of got really, um, it was really spring, I don't know. I thought that it was a great color and it lasted a while until I started chipping it because um, as soon as one nail gets chipped, I start chipping the other ones, which um, yeah, it's, I guess a bad habit. product is this coffee. So I have no idea what coffee this is. This is an interesting story actually. It was a secret Santa at my aunt's house. There was kind of like with numbers instead of like people giving you the gifts. So I waited for my number and there's a bunch of gifts on the ground and you gotta pick which gift or like whatever thing you want. So I looked at all of them and slowly I went for the one that had this really like um, brown wrapping on it, it was paper wrapping. So I was just like, okay, let me get this one. I opened it, literally it was coffee. For most of you guys who know, I love coffee so much. It's like number one vice. Thing is that my mom and everybody was like, oh my God, I need to stop drinking coffee, ease down a little bit. And I was just like, nah. And then I got this and I was just like, that's a sign. This dress right here. So right now I still need to like iron it or something. This is a Castiel dress from Supernatural. Love it. Love, love, love it. Because it also, it's like, still looks like fashionable. It's fun to wear. It looks cute and it looks adorable. Same as is this Doctor Who dress, which was awesome. Doesn't love Supernatural or Doctor Who or Sherlock for that matter. Super Who Lock. Truly love is the mug, Doctor Who mug I got. This right here, bought for Christmas ish. It it was uh, one of my friends. He um, ended up not getting me a gift, so instead I kept talking about um, mugs and teapots of the TARDIS of Doctor Who. Love this TARDIS. It's an awesome TARDIS. Yeah, Rock Whovians. This bag that he got me, it was this TARDIS bag. Super cute. Now I could do my uh, grocery shopping or take like my iPad or something to a coffee shop. This product, let's see, is this here. So I think I got this uh, just before Christmas. It's super cute, it's adorable. It's kind of like a floral-ish pattern, like snowflake-ish. Only $10, it was like on sale. It was supposed to be like $20, but um, I got this for 10 and I was just like, hashtag winning. From Garage that I got. And I love it so much because it's kind of like, it's very tomboyish, but at the same time, if you add something girly underneath, I guess it'll brighten up and more. And it reminds me a lot of like Supernatural, surprisingly. <laughs> so yeah, this plaid. Awesome. The Who hat that I got for Christmas. And it's so adorable. Hardest hat and for Whovians, of course, again, you guys would love this hat. Gorgeous. Facial moisturizer from Lush. And it's absolutely amazing, boss. Apparently, this is one of Lush's top facial moisturizers out there. And obviously, of course, it is. It was $85, surprisingly, for this little thing. But the funny part about this is that if you look at the ingredients on the back, which I've explained to plenty of people why it must be $85, is because. The things they use in here are actually pretty expensive to buy on its own. They're mainly all essential oils. So it also cleans the pores and everything, which is awesome for the skin. And it's kind of like, it's it's like that inside, but a few dabs on the face. It's like round and then you kind of perfect. 
um, and I highly recommend it. I actually uh, put this on. There was a little sample that I got from Lush, and it, it was tiny. It was really tiny. I still have it actually. Put that on. I kind of did this kind of like test, and after a few like a few days, all of my pimples kind of went away. I had like three pimples on my face. So as soon as I put this cream, it literally went away. Not only that, obviously healthy eating, water, and etc. But this moisturizer is absolutely amazing. This eyeliner, which actually I am wearing right now. I don't know if you guys can see. This amazing Revlon liner that my friend Laura recommended. I love it so, so much. It's awesome. Funny part about this is, is I didn't know how much of a price budget that you would have to get to uh, for a good eyeliner. And I tried the Kat Von D eyeliner. I wasn't very impressed by it. It was around almost like $30 and it only lasted me like two to three weeks or so. So practically like a, a month and it was already done. And I... Just, I thought this one, it stays like for so many hours. Me and my friend Laura, we actually had it for like 40 hours and it's still gonna go away. Fall asleep with it on, the next day it was still perfect. I highly recommend it. Valectric straightener. For those of you who like to straighten your hair, I really suggest this one. This is literally the best straightener like I've ever bought in practically my entire life. Um, and no, this is not a promoting video to tell you, just, um, just to let you know. I'm kind of just doing this of the stuff that I love and enjoy. But this straightener is truly amazing. This one here, literally, you can straighten it once and it already like straighten your hair like so fast. Oh my gosh. Is Vanilla Delight by Lush. So yeah, this is the Vanilla Delight and it's awesome. It's like one of the best body lotions ever. And if you like smelling like vanilla-y, it's so great. I have used this body lotion many times and the smell stays for quite a few hours actually. Very light fragrance, it doesn't smell that like heavy. These right here. I know that a lot of people don't spend so much money on uh, mascara. Before I found out about um, cheap, good lasting mascaras, I bought this one at Sephora and it's amazing. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite mascaras. As many drugstore makeup mascaras I've used, I find that they don't last as long or they don't have that much of a voluminous effect. And this one leaves your lashes as if it's almost fake lashes. You'll get full attention on eyes only. Very dark shade. And this is Sephora's bottle, I guess, of what it comes with. And it's... I don't know if it has a name on it or anything. This one is called Ultra Black. But highly recommend this one right here because it's absolutely fabulous. I never seen a mascara so awesome. If you want a natural one, I highly suggest this um, Light Camera Lashes by Tarte. Makes your eyes pop, but it doesn't leave your lashes super long. Comes in this cute little package like that. And if we open it up, it looks like this right here. Bristles are actually, they're very short, but um, kind of edgy-ish. So it makes your eyes pop very much. Here I'm actually gonna talk about this one. It's an eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay. And um, my friend Laura recommended to me. She recommends me so many makeup products. She's awesome. But uh, this one I actually love because it almost has a small, um, a slight tint to it. Um, an eyeshadow base almost. Works perfect when you put like even eyeliner because I, I've noticed it makes even my eyeliner last longer if I put this. Last but not least, I'm going to show you one of my favorite products I've gotten so, so far. Um, but this one here is actually one of my favorite beauty products I've got so far. 
It's called caca rouge, which is a really strange name because in French, literally, literally it means red shit. Yeah. Anyways, I still got it to dye my hair, um, my ends red. But I didn't want to chemically dye it because or else I would have to use bleach and then I would have to put dye and it would eventually destroy my hair. But I have very natural uh, red highlights, and especially when I go out in the sun, you can notice it very much. But even in the summertime, my hair naturally turns red. But I just kind of wanted something different on my hair, I guess. I don't know what to do. And I could do so much things with long hair, but I don't want to cut it or anything or style it differently. Like, I just kind of wanted to um, dye it and kind of I just decided to make these curls because I actually love them so much. I really want to try to do it again. I should actually make a tutorial for this. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how I made my hair because it's actually really simple. But people with long hair, like mine, I have lots and lots of hair. It might be a little longer. I actually probably did this hair in an hour, but I have to leave it during the night. So it took me much longer than Hannah Bar. It's called um, Hannah Hair Color. And they say that it naturally brightens your hair red. So I had red hair dye and they say that you shouldn't chemically, like you shouldn't use it with chemically treated hair. But I only dyed my hair once and it faded, but I didn't bleach it. I actually, um, I used a really light bleach so it doesn't have that much bleach in it to actually damage your hair. Perfect though, it's exactly what I needed. I didn't need anything too strong or too like, um, maybe one day I would like to go full on red and, uh, but I'm kind of building up courage for that because I would have to dye my entire hair and I actually love my realm. But even though henna, it fades naturally, so it just goes back to your natural hair color, which is absolutely awesome, and I love it so much, it's red. So I'll show you guys how this one looks up close. So this one is Caca Rouge, um, the lush part, kind of like um, henna hair color. And yeah, so this one here, it, it's almost like a brownish, greenish brick. So I don't know how to, I wouldn't know how to describe the color. It all, it looks very earthy, I would say, almost like a chocolate bar. It was much bigger before, but I cut it in half. So um, that is how it would look half. It's actually double the size. It's much bigger, like a huge chocolate bar or something. But yeah, if you guys are looking to naturally dye your hair uh, red, um, or even maybe if you guys are blonde and wanna go brown like a brunette, or um, or so. There's also a brown hair henna dye that you could get at Lush as well. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little, I would say, um, chat <laughs> about all these products. Uh, again, this video is not sponsored or anything. I just kind of did these, this video to show you guys what my favorite things are January and December. Hopefully, I could show you um, other of my favorite things so far. Actually, this one, the TARDIS mug I got. This one was, I guess I got it the first or second of February, so it isn't very much December or January. But I still thought I would include it in the video. Hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys loved it and enjoyed watching this video. I'll, I have some makeup tutorials and some 50 questions about me coming very soon on my channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Pixie dust.